we did it guys 2000 subscribers on the channel here big 2k and as some of you know we have a community video coming out very soon to celebrate 2000 subs with you guys it's gonna be the first ever community video and i'm i'm pretty excited to see how you guys think of it if you guys think it's fun or whatnot i thought i thought it was pretty fun to make and that'll definitely be coming out soon so do stay tuned for that but i won't say too much else thank y'all so much for 2000 subscribers you guys are the best community i could ever ask for and enjoy the video all right, so a couple things I got from comments and whatnot, just to, you know, let you guys know before we kick things off. People wanted my controller to, to be more to like the left side. People in kick chat and then people in my in my YouTube comments. They said move the, the overlay a little bit to the left and just as long as it's not in the middle. So I figured, you know, why not do that? Hopefully it looks a little better. Hopefully it's easier for you guys to, to see. You know, you guys, you guys said this is better for you guys. So, you know, I figured why not? Also, we did get the new overlay so you guys can see. Uh, stick inputs a little bit easier you can see when i'm pressing l3 r3 so all that kind of stuff stick inputs are much easier to see now we were a little bit down in rank today but you know kind of pick it back up for you guys I'm, I'm saying that we definitely definitely get like mid c3 or low to mid c3 by next episode so you guys can start seeing like real real gameplay in those ranks but you know you know how solo queue is in the, the early season and stuff like that just a little rough at the moment but you know trying to really perform for you guys and try my best to break out this little up and down thing i got going on but don't forget to join the discord if you guys want to be a part of videos and whatnot because you know the 2k the 2k sub special or whatever dropping soon you know it, i think it's gonna be pretty cool let's not say too much else though and waste you guys time let's get right into the gameplay right <clears throat> game number one bro what do y'all think of the new camera settings bro i'm just trying them out for one game because i saw somebody talk about them in the discord just trying them out if you guys want to know what they are go to my car control video and you'll see my camera settings but instead of the stiffness being what it was i switched it to 0.90 it's it's apparently supposed to make you feel faster but i mean I mean, it, I mean, it does, I'll be honest, but they just look so weird, bro. I'm not used to them. Let, enough, enough rambling about random things. Let's go ahead and focus on the game. I'm going to take a control touch here. Try to touch it over one. Let them touch the ball to me because I have a better possession. I'm going to try to flick it. Mess up my flick. Let my teammate have because he's sitting back there. It's a nice touch play. I get bumped. So I'm going to go for my corner. I think teammate just completely soloed. Holy, it might be him. Wait, low five. <laughs> very nice play for my teammate love it love it right, i'm gonna grab the mid boost get back here what we have him we'll push up on the ball try to read his his shot or whatever works out beautifully really nice really nice touch from him the backboard unfortunate miss from the opponent but we were able to capitalize on the mistake and just place it right in i'm gonna try out this kickoff bro i've been trying that kickoff out in ones bro because i see a lot of pros do it. it's like we're instead of flipping into the ball at the end you kind of jump into the ball and then use the the reset to wave dash kind of thing looks pretty useful i'm gonna touch it back to my teammate i might have messed up the play a little little bit a little bit but we can try to make it work. I'm gonna touch it up the wall. I like the pad. Go for a dribble play. Try to get it over them. And just works very beautifully. Just a simple air dribble, guys. Stuff you stuff that doesn't take too long to learn in a way. Yeah, I mean if you have mechanics, if you're a champion, you're not mechanical, you know, it's fine. You don't have to do that kind of thing. Just maybe like go up the wall, drop the ball down, take a dribble play, that 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 type of thing. But if you know air dribbles, bro, use them. Not all the time, but Use them in, in situations where you can dribble over them. I'm gonna go for a demo on this guy. Probably shouldn't have. Super stupid. Well, let my teammate have first challenge. That was a really good flick from Nova. Holy. Yeah, my teammate had a little bit of an issue there, but it's all good. Let's try not to. Ah, uh, he's back. He's back. I was gonna say let's try not to, to waste any time while he's gone, but yeah, it's it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna touch it high. I kind of messed up, touched the ceiling, so I'm gonna try to recover from it. Try to 50 him. Doesn't work out. To me, I unfortunately wasn't able to get back in time. But it was a weird play for me at the same time. Just kind of hit it middle. I was trying to recover from it, to be honest. Like my bad touch. But it is what it is. These camera settings feel very, very weird to say the least, but you gotta see what we can do with them. Because apparently it makes you feel faster, so. I'm gonna touch this pad. He's gonna be me there. 
Let my teammate have because he's under the ball. Gonna let him grab the boost. Nice touch from him. Almost went over the opponent. Alright, let me let my teammate have. He has a good touch on it. I think they took the boost, or my teammate did. I don't know why he went for the boost. He could have went for the it kinda it kind of broke his momentum completely in a way. Just try to challenge and beat him to the ball. Gonna try to get back. Touch it up. Nothing too crazy. I'm not trying to flip too much to throw myself out of the play. Just gonna take a bounce, dribble touch, click around one with my teammate. Try to collect this pad. I had ball came on. I mean car came on for for a little while there. Probably shouldn't do that. I'm gonna grab this penny back here. Let my teammate have first challenge. Gets the save. I'ma just try to take a light touch and then 50 him. I'm gonna grab a penny but go back because he has the hundred and he has ball possession. Jimmy takes a nice touch. I saw the boost kind of spawn behind me, but it's all good. Nova almost messed up. I'm gonna go back. How much you may have? I was gonna touch, so I'm gonna touch like that. I see the double coming in, so I'm gonna try to anticipate. I'm gonna touch a wide. Grab this pad here. I'm gonna go back. See what my teammate can do with it. Takes a touch over one. One gets the save. I'm gonna try to kind of do something that helps us in a way. Hope that ball doesn't go in. Does not. Nice touch, indeed. Oh my god, oh, messed up, messed up. We recover though, we recover. Maybe a 50. And bang it into the net. Let's try to explain things, right? Ball goes up the wall. They're kind of, I see one miss. He's very awkward. The other guy's kind of driving downward. On the, on the backboard, you can see him kind of driving downward instead of up toward the top corner. He's going toward the bottom corner or the floor. So I know I can kind of hit it to where it goes a little bit up or the top of the net where they aren't. So that, that type of thing. Very hard to explain, but um, team is going to try for a double. I'm going to let him do his thing. They both miss. I think they're both a little bit awkward right now. This guy kind of touches it back. I'm not sure what he's doing. Try to take a shot from it. He touches the ball. I'm going to let him have though. Shouldn't be challenging the way I almost did. No, it passes out to me. I'm gonna try to take a shot. I'm gonna grab their pad at the same time. They're kind of awkward on defense. My teammate has him. Let him have. I'm gonna take a control touch because we're up by two and we got good time on our hands. My bad teammate. I tried to jump over the pad for him. I'm gonna let it bounce down. Let my teammate take the touch. I'm gonna sit back. We got 10 seconds left. I'm gonna play it around him. Hit it where he isn't. 50 him. And then teammate should have enough time for a, for a drop or something. Or maybe I can just... I'm gonna just charge this guy. I lag, I kind of had a lag spike there, but it's all good. It doesn't really matter. We win the game. W game, W game. Solid teammate, but a little bit confusing. Not much to say there. On to the next game. Alright guys, we're back. We're back on the normal camera settings. Game two. We're going to see if I feel slower or faster or better or anything, bro. Because I don't know. Maybe those camera settings were like the way. Yeah, these feel a little bit different indeed. I feel like I feel like people say that those ones are faster, but this one actually feels a little bit faster. More professional in a way. Next shot. I'm going to try to save it. Going to grab the pad. Going to fake. I'm let him touch the ball awkwardly. He actually got a really good second touch. I think that was by accident. Ninja's probably going to take a shot. I'm going to go ahead and go back. I mean, not back. Um, Up the field. Take a shot to the far side. Works out beautifully. I see him in the middle. And when you're in the middle, you're probably going to anticipate the, the near post. Or the... Yeah, yeah. The near post as much as you're... As... Give me a second. Give me a second. Not as much as you would for the far post. There we go. <laughs> I'm a cheat on this kickoff. I'm telling you, bro, me, me, me being sick, it's got me, I mean, losing my mind. Ninja touches it high, so I'm gonna just send it to the corner. Looks like my teammate was on the backboard, so that's definitely on me. 
Alright, he's in the far post, so I'm gonna let him save the ball. Looks like he's touching it. I'm gonna touch it downward, matter of fact. I'm gonna go back. I have this mid. See my teammate beats the ball, so... I thought I was getting beat there. I didn't really see it too well. I'm gonna touch it high. This guy's kind of awkward. He's kind of doing things. I'm gonna just let him do his thing. Make a mess up in a way. 50 that guy. Might have a good clear here. My teammate gets a nice 50. I'm gonna let Ninja go for the air dribble. Save it. Let my teammate have the ball. My bad, my bad. I think we both thought that we were gonna go for the ball. I'm gonna try to pass to him. Looks like he was going for a demo. I don't know why I'm going for the pad. Don't go for the pad. Okay? Don't go for the pad in that situation. I'm back, I'm back. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna grab this pad here. I'm gonna grab this corner boost as well. Here's where we're gonna try to take a dribble play. Mess up the touch. Maybe my teammate gets possession here. I saw the vision, just didn't really work out. And just got some good fakes going. He's probably gonna flick. He does flick. I'm gonna just touch it away. Ninja's gonna challenge, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna flick. I don't have boost. So I'm gonna get back. The man gets a nice 50, but I wasn't there unfortunately. I touch it over him. He beats me to the ball. I was hoping my teammate didn't get beat to the 50 there. I'm gonna touch it. Kinda downward. That's that's my bad for taking this boost. I'm just kinda I'm being a little starvy today. I'm gonna jump outward. Try to 50 him so it goes toward the net. I'm gonna try to 50 him as well. Nothing works out. I got on boost, so I'm gonna try to grab the mid. Maybe turn because my teammate still has possession. Ball's going in. I'm a little bit scared right now. We were able to get the save. I'm gonna touch it high that way. Ninja doesn't have a direct shot. I'm gonna be first on this challenge. He needs boost, so I'm gonna try not to collect too much pads. I can conserve mine because I know he doesn't have much. He grabs that little penny, I see that. He's also got a, a hundred over there. So I'm gonna let him do his thing, take his time. He goes for a nice 50. I'm gonna grab that guy's pad. I might try to starve a little bit. Nah, teammates in a 1v1, I gotta go back. Little air dribble play. To make it a nice save. Try to go up. I'm gonna try to catch this one. I don't want my teammates up as well. I mean, it's a bit of an air dribble play, but it's all good. 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Alright, gonna grab this pad here. Ninja goes up. I'm just gonna try to save it. Timmy was back on that. He's going for a little demo. So I'm just gonna try to play the ball around to where it works out in a way to where I'm, I'm trying to explain exactly what I'm thinking, but you guys, you guys kind of saw right there. All right, there we go. He goes for a demo, right? So with Ninja challenging on the left side, I try to play the ball to where I found myself in front of the right side in a way and I can just block out the 50 and win it. But it's 2-1 right now. Good shot from my teammate. It was high. I think they were going for a pass. They kind of just passed to me. I'm going to grab the, the mid boost. Try to get back because I know they're on possession. I'm trying to see what they're doing. They're, they're being a little awkward right now. Goes for a pinch. I'm going to go ahead and get back. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and sit in this net until the shot goes off i didn't expect my teammate to to miss the way he did so i was just kind of yeah i trusted a little bit too much in a way i don't know what it's called maybe over trusting to a point where you start like not even anticipating the worst thing that would happen you start to to anticipate the best thing that'll happen That type of thing. Like you try to react in a way that only the best situations would happen. It's kind of how to explain it. I'm gonna sit back here, left for the shot to go off or the pass. I'm gonna go back for this corner. 
I'm not really good at explaining things today. I'm just trying to kind of win a game. I think is the mindset here. I'm gonna bump him. I'm gonna have possession. I'm gonna grab the back corner. I know we're in the last 10 seconds, so I gotta have some boost. I'm in a 1v1, so I'm just gonna try to let him mess up. I'm gonna send it in overtime. Because I don't, I don't want it to. It'll be up in the air zero seconds and it's on our side, you know what I mean? Let my teammate have it. Teammate's still on the ball, so I'm gonna let him stay on the ball. I'm gonna fake child, gonna fake child, gonna fake child. Kinda passes it to me. Bump him into the ball. Make it back. Black this penny, teammates on the ball right now. I try to pinch it with him. Almost works out. Actually, it does work out. I don't know how that worked out. It wasn't even a pinch, but okay. I, I guess that just works. Um, sure. All right. Messes up the save. I guess. I guess we're on a game two, bro. I guess. I guess we're moving on to game two. Three, three, bro. Three, 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 three. Everyone relax. Everyone relax in the comments. Three, game three. Wait, I think I know this guy. I think I know both of them. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe I'm just, I'm thinking things, but yeah. I'll try to pass it to my teammate, matter of fact. All right, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Don't do that again. Not to myself. I'm gonna grab this back corner if it spawns. If it doesn't, then it does. Subconsciously knew this kind of a thing that you, that you develop over the time of playing Rocket League. I promise you guys are in champ. You most likely have that kind of, su that sub sense in a way. But I get beat on the 50. Teammates also up on the... Oh, I think it was aerialing as well. I'm not sure why it was aerialing, but... Kind of took an L on that one. My bad, I was stretching. <laughs> gonna go with the back corner. <clears throat> Might get touched. I'm gonna try to touch the backboard because he's not on the backboard. Could have had a way better first touch. I'm gonna try to get back as fast as I can. There's a demo. Gonna send it high. To make it a little bit awkward. Teammate had a really good pass mid, I just wasn't there. I'm gonna fake Chow here. Doesn't go in. I'm gonna wait behind teammate. I don't know why I flipped outward. Kind of flipped inward, but it's all good. See what he does here. He's gonna take a shot directly because he's turning away. I'm gonna demo him. Because he kind of just died, so... Use him out of the play. Yeah, he's gonna go for the pad. So I'm flip to with the pad. Yeah, it's gone now. So now I'm gonna grab this back corner here. Push up behind my teammate. Ball's in the air. They're not really going for it, so I'm just gonna go for it. If they're not going for it, guys. Just, just go. It's it's not worth waiting for the ball to drop and then challenging and going for a 50. You can do that. But I feel like it's just easier to, to go up for the ball and just beat him immediately. Especially in this rank. I'm gonna touch it outward. Fake. I didn't actually mean to fake. I kind of flipped, but it's all good. We're gonna fake Chow here. Wait for the pinch. Kind of gets passed to us. Very, very awkward situation there. That's my bad. I'm gonna grab the boost by my teammate. Kind of wait behind him. Looks it high, I'm gonna go for the aerial. Got a 50. Can't really beat him to it. I'm gonna grab this pad as well. Try to get back. Almost ran into my teammate there again. He's up on that, gets a nice 50. Gonna fake it out. Gonna go for the save. Get the save. Touch it outward. Gonna do a little zen play. Backboard clears are so crucial. I don't think you guys understand, bro. It's it's insane. Got a really nice 50 so it could go down for my teammate, but they were able to beat my teammate to that one as well. I'm gonna flick it over him. I'm gonna grab the pad. Looks like they're not challenging immediately, so I'm gonna go for it as well. I try to jump over his demo attempt. Got my teammates there. It's a really nice flick. That Dominus type of flick. Try to light up the backboard real quick because they're not over there. Try to touch it toward the corner. Just trying to <clears throat> make it awkward for them as best as I can. Found the demo. I'm gonna let my teammate have the ball. It's B, but I'm there for the save. I'm gonna grab this pad here. And just fake it, honestly. 
to make him panic in that net. You know, his okay, when his back is faced toward you, he's getting ready for you to go high or just kind of shoot it to where he's back, like the backward. The back of his car is facing. So he can just do a straight back foot, but you know, I wanted to place it to where he had to turn in a way. So far post is always the best in that situation. Just fake it, start to slow down, then go for that low touch. Unless he challenges for the 50 immediately, you can still do the same thing and win that 50, the low 50. But faking on that goal line when the back is turned towards you, it's a really good thing to do. Maybe not every time, but most of the time. And a low 50 him. Let me get back here. He made places it really nicely for me again. I'm going to flick it early because I see him challenging early. He might have a shot because he's awkward. Goes for it. Doesn't really get it. I'm going to check uh, fake chow here. I'm going to fake grab the pad. Mate is sending it to the middle for them. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. Let's see what happened here. Oh yeah, no, don't do that. Do not touch the ball like that. Got a really nice kick off there. Almost a really nice shot for my teammate. Maybe I can shoot it. Nah. Very awkward indeed. Gonna get the demo. Gonna 50 him. Hopefully my teammates here. We gotta really pressure them in this in this last minute. Bro, that was a really good play. Really good defense. Yeah, but now we really gotta pressure them in this in this last minute because can't really be wasting time in the on the defense. You know what I mean? I have no boost by the way, so I'm, I'm being very stupid. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna wait for it to bounce. He might have a shot. He has a save. I'll grab this pad so he can't. I'm gonna go for aerial. Just kind of touch it because my teammate isn't going. I try to get a backboard clear. I do. But I have no boost to follow up. I'm going to try to 50 it to where it would go up. And yeah, it doesn't work out. Unfortunate last game. Big loss. We played the best we could. And this guy's being a little toxic on the celebration. GG's. Alright, there we go. Just a short little episode today. Or well, it fell short to me because of our, our games and whatnot. As I said, you know, the twos hasn't been going too well. Probably the past few hours. Solo queue's been a little bit rough. Early season and whatnot. Ran into a... Bro, I had the most interesting experience today, right? We ran into Smurfs. So, took it out on that. It's all good. We come back, right? Then I started getting teammates who, like, just straight up left the match. Like, I had a teammate who left the match when it was like, we were up by one. We were up by one. There was 50 seconds left and he just kind of, he voted to forfeit and then he left. He didn't say anything. He just voted to forfeit and left. We were up by one and it was 50 seconds left. Had a teammate start throwing mid game. I had a teammate who, who could do like triple flip resets and stuff, but he couldn't even save the ball or nothing like that. It, I don't know. It was just a very weird experience. I'm not going to blame any of those games on my teammate though. Cause you know, I could have made mistakes at, at some times as well. And I could have played a lot better in a way, but um, can't really say much. You know, I already mentioned the, the big community video that's coming out for 2K subs with you guys over on the Discord. So if you guys want to participate in a video in the future, just go ahead and join up. The link will be right in the description. I'm thinking we try to go for, for, for 2.5K subs. What do you guys think? You know, you guys have been actually like going so crazy on exploding the channel. And like you guys, you guys help me grow so fast. And bro, I'm thinking we, we just we go all out and we, we try to do road to 2.5K, bro. I'm telling you i think we got it bro i think we got it you know you guys you guys are so insane with the support and whatnot let's try to hit it by let's try to hit it by the end of the month that'll be the goal we'll hit 2.5k subs maybe 3k subs by the end of october but with the rate we're going at i don't know you guys you guys will probably make it happen in like a like a week or something i don't know you guys normally do but with that being said that'll be the end of this one drop a comment let me know if you guys want to see some some different you know fun things like that we already have stuff on the way but you know if you have any other video ideas and whatnot go ahead and join the discord leave them in the video idea section or just you know drop a comment or something like that and i'll definitely go through those and read those I try to reply to everybody, of course. You already know that. You can see it, you know, in my videos and stuff. Again, I was live on Kick streaming this. So if you guys want to go see those live, you guys want to do replay reviews, replay analysis. You guys want to go through like, you know, viewer tournaments, casual viewers, ranked viewers, just anything like that. Go ahead and follow the kick and we will be live on there. I try to be live every day, but you know, sometimes recording gets, starts to push into a little bit of a, a later time. So we, we do our best with that. We do our best with that. That'll be it for this one though. But like I said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Got our three games in. We ended off, I know people like to see, we ended off in uh, Div 3, bro, I'm gonna be honest. Ranked today has sucked so bad, bro, I'm gonna be honest, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get up to C th uh, C3 again for the next episode or something. I got y'all on that one. Love you guys so much. Hope y'all enjoyed. 
Have a great rest of your night. And peace out.